here you can see we have the edit option copy option we can give a good response or bad response and also we can hello you know, how can i assist you today yes it if we click this option it will read aloud the hold hello guys thank you for tuning into my channel what open ui actually is is that it gives a interface a very beautiful interface for all your api applications for example if you are using chat gpt api or any api model for that case or if you are using the local models you know that the interface is not very good for example we for the olama models this is what we get we are directly contacting through the terminal or if you are running a python code we have to interact with the model in that terminal which is not very good compared to the beautiful interface which we get in you know chat gpt website so i'll be telling you how you can install open web ui it couldn't have been any easier i'll be telling you it is completely simple don't worry so let's start first what we have to do is we'll be going to the browser and we'll be opening up this github repo i will be giving this link in my description so you can just click from there once you are on this github repo just go on to this green button where code is written and here copy this url this is the github url once you have copied this we'll head back to our terminal or our command prompt we'll be going to the directory where we have to install this so i'm going on to the directory okay so i am in the specified directory where i want to install this open web ui so what you have to do is just you have to type git clone and paste give a space and paste the url once you have done that just click enter okay so we have completely cloned the repo if you go on to the exact location where you have installed this you can see open web ui will be visible so we are in open web ui we have to just type cd open web ui just type what i have exactly typed over here cd space open web ui once you click over that we are now into the open web ui directory now what you have to do is just head on to the github repo scroll down and here you will be getting the instructions what you have to do further there are many ways to get open web ui on your device the best and the most simplest way is installing docker if you have not installed docker already i would suggest you to search the youtube and get docker installed because it makes the installation of many python files or any uh, applications for that matter easy so if you have docker then what you have to do is head over to this installation with default configuration location here if you have olama this is the link which we should use so i would highly suggest that you have olama already installed on your computer because that will be the most simplest way i have given i have given a tutorial how you can install olama so just watch into the i section or in the description i will be pasting the link of that video you can get it installed olama installing olama is also very easy and very you know quick so if you have olama then what you have to do is just copy this link and we have to paste it in the terminal okay we have got that installed now once you have got the docker installed and once you have got that open web ui installed what you have to go is go to the launch pad or start and look for docker just click on it and docker will start up so as you start up docker already your open web ui will be running on port 3000 and you will be getting you know a link to go on to that page so just click on it and now you will be on open web ui as you can see all of my local models ulama models are available over here all these models have been downloaded by me and all these models are available over here now okay as we are in the open web ui let me show you how you can use it so here at the top you can see select model so i'll be selecting one of my local models it will be best to select a small model i guess so i'll be selecting the quent 4 billion model okay so it is very similar to the chat gpt interface that we are familiar with so just you have to type the message 
hi let's send hi message and let's wait for the yes as you can see we got the response here you can see we have the edit option copy option we can give a good response or bad response and also we can hello you know how can i assist you today yes it if we click this option it will read aloud the whole whole message here generation information is given how many tokens it is what was the speed and all of that and we can also continue the response or even regenerate the response so when it comes to uh, open ai's api this reach continue response options works absolutely phenomenal i think it is it works even better than the chat gpt interface that we are all familiar with even there it doesn't work as good as it works in this interface so this is how you use the models here many options are available model files is something like system prompt for you know as we have system prompt in chat gpt it is similar to that we can discover model files if we go on to this open web ui community there are many model files available prompts as you know we can import prompts or write prompt you know we can add a prompt over here all of these things you can upload your documents if you want to you know do rag and uh, you know chat with any document all of that can be done over here and other than that you can also have image models and all of that have a look around all of these features and you will be you know surprised to see how much uh, intuitive and how advanced this interface is so i hope you like this video if you want to watch more such videos about ai the recent advancements in ai how you can use ai tools and tutorials please subscribe my channel and like this video thank you guys for watching